think that his message is for the church today? Well, he, I mean, the thing about Chester and he wrote so much, you'd say there'd be, uh, there could be a lot of messages depending on which kind, which way you get into Chesterton. Cause I mean, he wrote all kinds of literature, but I would say from the apologetic standpoint, which is really where he's most appreciated by, 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 um, you know, evangelicals today, I would say um, the, the big message from Chesterton is um, a gratitude for existence, first and foremost, that that's the, it, that, that, that fundamental insight that it is better to exist than to not exist, that really douses the flames of nihilism or any kind of just hopelessness or despair in the world, uh, um, the, the, the gratitude for existence being the first thing um, I think there's something about that that then awakens in people a sense of awe and wonder at the world to where he helps you to see the world, to see the church, to see Christianity with an entirely, like to, to take things that have become overly familiar to us and make them fresh to us. Mm -hmm. um, he, Chesterton has that, that through his wit and through his wisdom, it has that ability to be able to do that. So I think um, not taking for granted the amazingness, the astonishing nature of reality and of Christianity, I think is the, the first big thing. And from an example standpoint, just his ability to, to be really good friends with people who he was completely opposed to philosophically, who, who he thought were ideologically dangerous, actually. Um, and yet to, to have that sort of, there, there was a, there's a, there's a cheerfulness to Chesterton that comes out of this strong sense of confidence that, you know, God's got this, right? So he, he's often called the laughing prophet because there's this very strong prophetic streak to him. And yet there's this joviality that's really, it's, it's almost, it's, it's, a, it's a strange juxtaposition, his prophetic call and nature and warnings even with this this cheerful confidence and joviality that comes from him. And it's extraordinarily appealing and attractive uh, when you, you meet like this gigantic personality uh, uh, like that. So I think, that's, I think that's why he has stood this test of time and why he continues to be relevant and read even today.